I am trading my Suburban in for a minivan. As soon as she got her first dose, she was like smiling and giggling and... It has been a little bit since I vlogged and it's because I have been dealing with one the stomach bug in our house but also Miss Stella there's got to be something going on I'm actually taking her to the pediatricians first thing this morning she has an appointment at 9 15 to see what is going on she has been miserable for like weeks now and I honestly I don't know if it's colic or if she is allergic to her formula so we're gonna get her checked out see what's going on because she's definitely been the fussiest baby I've ever had and I just, I want her to be comfortable and I want her to be happy. So that is what we're doing. I've got to get her ready to go. I've got to get Grant ready. Um, he's going over to my mother-in-law's and then she's going to take him to school. So very, very busy morning. Good morning. It is 716. Um, the kids just went off on the bus and I have to get Grant ready pretty shortly here for Head Start. Got my cup of coffee. I'm watching my birdies. Um, they are coming out this morning because it's not too bad out actually. It's like, yeah, it's almost 40 degrees already this morning and um, I'm going to soak it up today because it's gonna be like a high of 42 and uh, tomorrow we're supposed to get snow and Saturday we're supposed to get snow, so. <sighs> It is March 2nd. I am so over the snow. I'm so over the cold. I'm so ready for warm weather or just even spring weather would be nice. But anyway, um, today's video, I'm going to do a day in the life. It has been so long since I did a day in the life, but I'm not going anywhere and I have a lot to do. So I figured why not pull out the camera? Um, it's obviously a day in the night life with a newborn because Stella will be here with me today. So stay tuned for some fun mommy motivation today. We've got a lot to get done. Tons of laundry, um, housework, you know, mom stuff. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. If you like Day in the Life videos, please give this one a big thumbs up. I would love for you to join me here on my channel. So hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, let's jump in. changing plans I got ready for the day um and I have to go clean out my car because I am trading my Suburban in for a minivan I cannot believe I'm saying that um I was always one to say that I would never ever own a minivan but honestly it's just more realistic right now with the kids and how young they are we have 
three out of four kids car seats in our car Weston doesn't need one anymore but it's just it's a lot and um, with my suburban my suburban is big I love my suburban it is my dream car but um, the only problem is is there's no bucket seats so that makes it very difficult to get kids in and out and actually this van doesn't technically have bucket seats, but it has a stow and go. So the center seat can be taken out for bucket seats. And um, there's so much more room to be able to move car seats. And um, it's like the same size as my Suburban, but the way it's laid out is just better for a mom vehicle. She's laughing. <laughs> you wanna talk? Say hello. Say hi, Stella. <gasps> Look at you, pretty girl. So anyway, so we went and looked uh, spur of the moment yesterday at Vans and literally the first one I saw, it's a Chrysler Pacifica. It's a 2017, which I think that's the year of my car. My car might be uh, one year newer, but it's like $200 less a month in payments. So for us, that's just a better option. I love my car. I've had my car for three, no, this year will be four years I've had my car. But it's time. It's time to get something that's a little more practical, better on gas, um, and eventually someday I will most definitely have another Tahoe or a Suburban again. I, yeah? <laughs> I highly, highly recommend those vehicles, but for right now, with how much we travel, um, we just need something that's better on gas and also a little cheaper payment because Ryan is on the market for a new truck. He's had his truck since 2008, and so he is, he needs a new truck. He needs something that's more reliable to pull our camper. So at the dealership that we're getting our van from, they have one truck that um, he's really interested in. It's a diesel. It's every, it has like every aspect that he was looking for, even like a long bed, which a long bed is really hard to find right now. So. He's gonna go and test drive that, and I am going to trade my car in and drive a van home tonight. I cannot believe I'm saying that. Um, it does make me a little sad because the Suburban was honestly my dream car, but I have like specs that I want in a Suburban someday. I want it to be white. I would love chocolate leather interior, um, DVD players, a sunroof. So like those things I would love to have. And that'll be someday when the kids are grown up and aren't destroying vehicles. But for right now, I'm getting a mom car. I am joining the minivan life. And I just can't believe I'm saying that. Are we gonna have a minivan? You made us put an addition on our house and we had to get a minivan. <laughs> that look. <laughs> You're so funny. I know that you are having a hard time right now That everything seems to crumble around you I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to Put your trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best, what's best for you. Hey guys, so the last time I sat down on the floor, I broke down crying and kind of lost it. And I wanted to hop on and just say thank you guys so much for your love and your support on my channel. I am truly so grateful and um... We are doing so much better. If you can hear, it is quiet. There's no screaming baby in the background because she's finally content. Um, she's actually out on her play mat right now and just laying on her play mat and playing. So I'll have to show you that in a minute. But um, I'm doing a lot better. I took Stella to the pediatrician and they um, 
basically said she has colic as well as really bad gas. She was like listening and she could kind of hear um, and said she definitely has a lot of gas built up. So they ended up putting her on Pepsid and she takes the tiniest little dose. It's like 0.3 milliliter of Pepsid every single day, every morning. I give that to her and I am not even joking you. As soon as she got her first dose, she was like smiling and giggling and I was just amazed. She was a completely different baby. So with that being said, the Pepsid is working. She's been on it now for almost a week. I'm trying to think of when her appointment was. No, she's been on, so she's been on it for like five days and she is doing so much better. Um, it, just, it blows my mind how good it is working and she's content. Actually, the other day I laid her down in the bassinet while I was folding laundry in my room and she just laid there and like was looking around and moving around and then put herself to sleep, which has never ever happened. She um, has always needed to be held during the day and um, she never would take naps during the day and that's so odd for a newborn, but it's because she was so uncomfortable. And I think by like bedtime, she was just so exhausted from not napping all day that she has always slept really well and she's still sleeping really well. So anyway, yeah, she's doing better and I just wanted to update you guys and let you know that yes, she did have colic and she also was prescribed a medication to help with the gas and it's just been amazing and I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful to have a happy baby now <laughs> and one that actually sleeps throughout the day here and there. So yeah, um, I'm doing better mentally because I don't have a screaming baby all the time that can like literally drive you crazy because no matter what I did, she would just cry and scream and needed to be held. And that was exhausting in itself. So doing a lot better. Thank you guys so much for your love and your thoughts and prayers. And thank you for thinking of Stella. She is, she's much better. So let me go show you her while she's, you know, happy and content. Hi. Hi, baby. Are you on your play mat? You're such a big girl. <laughs> okay, so we are just waiting on kids to get home from school. Ryan has to go pick up Grant from Head Start um, here very shortly. What time is it? Yeah, in like a half hour, Ryan will be going, getting out of work and going and picking up Grant. And then um, we have to wait for the other kids to get home from school and then we can go and trade my car in. I'm sad, but I'm also excited. Um, I'm excited to have like a newer vehicle, but I'm also sad because my Suburban was my dream car and I love my Suburban so much. I have nothing bad to say about it other than the fact that it had a lot of miles on it. It had like 114,000 miles on it, so yeah. I'm excited to have something with lower mileage and a lower payment, but I'm also sad to say it say goodbye to my dream car so anyway i'm just waiting for ryan to go home <laughs> well we got a two new cars we maybe got two new cars yeah we do mm -hmm. and long look and left two i left the two teeth <laughs> Grant, are we getting two cars? I got a last teeth. Yeah. I'm starting well, to get a wink wink one. Hey, <gasps> okay, they are all in tow except for Weston because Ryan is bringing Weston back with the truck that he is test driving. He's right over there. He's right there. Oh, and guys. Look how pretty the dash is. It's so pretty and fancy looking. I love it. I know that you were having trouble believing right. 